Hi guys, it's Natalie from Our Brown Farm House, AKA Brown Family Farm. And I'm excited. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show y'all why I'm excited in a second. But we have a couple of things that we wanna share with y'all today. We went on an adventure, little family day with the girls. And we have a chick update, they're getting so big. So we have to get that started soon. And I have an update today for y'all around pop that I'm really excited about. I'm not gonna be emotional on camera, but I might, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm super excited, so we'll see. Hi. <laughs> Egypt just scared me, y'all. I don't know what was coming up behind me. <laughs> oh, and there's Sahara. So y'all, when we say that we can't make it out of the house that long, I've only been out. Right now the camera's at one minute. And here we go. We was gonna play. You wanna play? Okay. I love it though. They love to help. I may have to grab some of those. <laughs> the food saver typically about 70 bucks 19 y'all we are in here not looking for this and look what Nico finds <laughs> well y'all know we can never have too many zip ties I would prefer black ones but how much are they babe they're five dollars not bad but the big ones they're like yeah. six or seven yeah. 175 pound strength for 24 of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, we got this, y'all. I was telling them about the bed. I didn't tell them how much we got it for. Okay. It's not, it's, <laughs> it's not big enough, but we have an idea. We have right? an idea. Yeah. So, originally, it would be $68. $68. And we're going to do it for 29 But it is really, it's a thick padding, really though. Thick. So, foam. it'll be able to hold him, which makes us happy because that's been the hard part. All right, y'all. We are at Renninger's in Mount Dora, Florida, and I am in paradise. This is only the first stall that we've stopped at, but signs galore. Signs galore. And I'm loving it. And pretty decently, decently priced stuff for like the more antique -y stuff. And look at mom, she found a floor de lis so she's over there like, oh. But they also have like the very authentic like gas station signs that get pretty expensive. But this right here, this isn't part of it, but this is $35. Mom likes that. But just so many cool things. I'm not sure why mom agreed to come here with me, but she's here now, so I got her. <laughs> and uh, we have the girls as well. There's one of the cool gas station signs, you see them. But uh, yeah, look, this Sinclair sign, I, I, want, I want some of these so bad, but look how much it costs. Yeah, and no, it's not missing a period. The period's at the end of the second zero. Here's another one back there. But, cool little Florida sign. I'm not gonna speak through this whole thing or else this video will be <laughs> three hours long. So we're just going to, you know, throw on some, throw on some music, maybe a time lapse and just show y'all some of the favorite things that we see today. people might see this kind of stuff and see junk but I see treasures the fun is in finding things 
yeah. That is sour. I've shown this mailbox before, but I just really love it. I know. There's more over here, let me show you. Aren't they so nice? I like that as well. This one has a turtle, a walrus. This one has a bull. Pretty cool. I like the board. That's Egypt's favorite. And here's my favorite. This one right here. So much detail. This is my kind of stuff right here, y'all. Just piles of knickknacks. Look at that. All of that over there that I could just dig through. And these are little type of knickknacks that I love to put on the animal shelters. I could buy them today and I might have them for like a year or longer before I ever use them. But eventually I figure out uses for things like this. And that's when you will see it implemented into a build. So like things like this, like perfect for a door right floor de lis like that Natalie and I thought this was so beautiful. So, taking video to have a record of it. Put it on wax, as I like to say. You see it, Sahara? What is it? Flowers. Flowers in a tub? <laughs> so, it's like an old tub, y'all. And I know y'all have seen this before, but... I mean, it's just so beautiful. See the tub right there? Really like that. And yeah, Natalie's not lying. That's the type of tub she had as a kid. What's it called, Walter? After 2000. <laughs> yeah. And we're not talking about because of um, antique reasons or 
Yeah. Or we, I grew up he, in a shotgun house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of those reasons. <laughs> What's crazy is that same tub that y'all had out of necessity, people pay yeah. thousands of dollars for, but y'all had it because that's what y'all... We didn't even know what we had. You know? I yeah. I, I would have kept it and had one. Y'all, we found all of these baskets to hang like... That one's shaped like a heart. I know you could yeah. barely see it. There we go. It's so pretty. But they have all these baskets, just so much and so many cool things for gardening. And the prices aren't bad. Yeah, look at this. They just stake right into the ground. But my favorite one, and mom has a basket, and the prices aren't bad. Show them the price of that basket, mama. 20 $20. But look at this. Look at this, y'all. Can you see it? The Yeah. Another one that you would just stake into the ground. Hopefully, I know it's sunny, but hopefully you can make out what I'm looking at. Fifty-five dollars for that big thing, y'all. <laughs> and then look at this one. That kind of reminds me of like uh, a headboard on the bed, but it's made for the for the garden. Well, there's Pop, and there's Snap, and as you can see, you want some more? I'm coming. Pop no longer has any tape on that wing. So super excited. We took it off a couple days ago, y'all, and Pop has been able to open the wing, flap it around, um, and so far it's doing great. I might be able to catch it on camera. If I do, I'll make sure to add it in here. But super, super, super happy. Words cannot express how happy I am right now um, to share this with y'all. I've been coming out every day like normal, but just making sure I can see Pop fly. Well, not fly, but flap its wings. <laughs> Do you ever notice anything new? I sure do, and it looks good. Dad just got done cutting the grass. Woohoo! All right, y'all. So, as y'all know, we wait till the evening to do our chores usually not this late but i cut the yard <laughs> took me about three hours which is not bad because we have a really large house yard but we have a solution for that y'all will see that soon here so i'm gonna go ahead and get the drill hole started yeah it's level Right, one more through. Woo! Hot even at night, y'all. Now, it's been a while since I spoke about this, but I spoke about how in the pastures, essentially all of them at some point, we're going to build a fence line feeder for all the goats to make it easier for them to feed. So that, and even Egypt's tall enough for this, from without even having to enter the pasture, we could just pour down the fence line and they can eat. Now, when I originally brought this up in past videos, there is a more elaborate and elegant <laughs> looking feeder setup that I have in mind that I still plan to execute. But what I'm doing right here right now is just easy because we're just using these black goat troughs, feed troughs that you can find at your local feed store. Got ours from Tractor Supply and one of them from a different local feed store. But they just sit on just like that. I mean, it's really that easy, y'all. And we have three of them to make yep. sure the girls have enough space until no we finish the next pasture for the younger girls.
now to make sure the girls can't knock them off y'all i'm just gonna screw them into place and i'm sure y'all can hear miss egypt rose in the background having fun with thor Come on, goats. Come on, goats. Come on, goats. Right here, baby. So, pour it in there. Go ahead. I got them. And here they come. Look, they're running. Where's the food? Oh, where's the And just spread it evenly all the way down, baby. Okay, give a little more in here and just work your way back down that way. Perfect, y'all. Perfect. All right. Just give more wherever you don't see some. Beautiful. This is perfect. <laughs> and as soon as we back away, here, let me see. Okay. As soon as we back away, then they'll all come on over. That's exciting. All right, let's back up. Now that's beautiful, y'all. Once again, love it when a plan comes together. It's literally just enough space. It's more than enough space, actually. We could easily fit more goats. <laughs> and look at Thor. You got to Luckily, me. he's not trying to eat their food. Sometimes uh, Zeus will try to eat their food. Come on, no, you're trying to get milk. You need to start eating. There you go, big girl. That's Snow White, y'all, so she needs to eat. No, that's not Snow White, babe. Oh, I'm sorry. That's spirit. spirit. Eating next to her mama. Yeah. She so, just wants loving, babe. Egypt, let's come this way. Okay. We're actually going to exit out of here so they can eat. So yeah. the skittish ones can eat. The I like it. And yep, look at Thor. He's not trying to mess with them. He's not trying to eat their food. He's just over there lying down really close to them, just like we would want. He has food and water in his own house, so he eats at his leisure. <laughs> The girls are doing really good. It's been probably about three months since they've had grain, y'all. There's so much grass and brush out here. They've had more than enough to eat, so. All right, Egypt Rose, how much uh, How much did you give them? Uh, two scoops and one half. Got you, two and a half scoops, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I'm not moving, they're all nice. Yep. Spirit, she'll, she'll figure it out. I think she got a little bit. Yeah, no one pushed her away. She just doesn't want to yeah. eat. Maybe she's not hungry. I think she's, she's really the main reason why we are going to be working on that project that we told y'all about, about a month ago, y'all. Uh, she's still, she's the only one that still tries to nurse consistently yeah so this new pasture that we're going to be creating is going to allow for us to separate the uh these little girls that we don't want to get the dolings that we don't want to get pregnant this year. yep so we're going to be able to separate them and at the same time just for her that will allow for us to wean her now we would prefer not to have to separate our does our kid does in order to wean because once you do it once you got to do it forever essentially because the mama's become used to it we would rather the kids naturally wean which all the other kids have so that shows that it works just little spirit every now and then wants some milk yeah you can see she's not even trying to eat <laughs> but her moms the moms don't let them nurse no more it's time for the boys to eat Sorry we're late, boys. I had chores. You have to do some projects for your ladies. Yeah, I had chores. And like Egypt just said, we had projects for your ladies. But yeah. Egypt has your food. <laughs> ladies first. Guys, Peanut butter is ready. I hear you. Then she got a little basket next to you. 
All right, thanks for sharing that fun fact. I would not know what I would do without my fun fact share, Egypt Rose. You're welcome. <laughs> it has so much relevancy. She said a late night snack. <laughs> all righty so the boys are definitely enjoying their dinner let's go ahead and get the rest on their baby so we can step back for them i don't want oreo to get beat up see he's about to get squeezed out yeah for my asmr lovers <laughs> All right, y'all. So we've had a lot of people ask us in the fall decor video what we use on the flowers in front of the barn in order for them to keep their color and all of that good stuff. So here it is. It's called Gemini Dried Floral Preservative. And you can see it, it seals, protects, dries fast and clear, prevents shattering and fading. So we use it, per, uh, we primarily use it for its ability to seal and prevent fading, but it works beautifully yeah. on those flowers. And you can use it on um, outdoor pillows too, on fabrics and like on our, what's the wreath with the burlap. We also have that one sprayed too. Yeah. So that's what we use y'all. And chick update. This is the mashed chicken burger. Look how small it is, guys. It's the size of the chicks, the size of the chicks that we got when we first got them. Yep. Maybe it's one of those chickens that are on. Um, it's the last one, y'all. It's still small. It's doing good, though. Yeah, it's, it's eating and drinking. It's getting bigger. Oh, doing good. Super cute. Let's see close that. It's colors are so pretty. All right, y'all. So this is the area that we call Achilles' room. As you can see, he likes to lie in here, as you can see right there. But this is his bed that Thor was borrowing, as you can see. Only a puppy would do that. But Mama and I are about to move it to the porch where... Achilles now has a new favorite spot to lie down. So we're about to move this to the porch and then put those bed pillows in there. And hopefully he chooses to sleep in there tonight. Right, Mama? Yeah, I remember, guys. He's already ready to lay down with him. <laughs> now, y'all, this is a bed that we had made when we lived in Mississippi. This is before I had tools and all of that because this is an easy build. It's a like a three and a half by five, I want to say. Um, so really large bed for Achilles. Um, and we've had it since he was essentially a puppy. So Yeah, it was only like 10 weeks whenever we had a build. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool build. Now exactly where he likes to lie, we can't put it there because the door has to open. But I think over here, folks. Like... All right. Now, Mama, do you want it off to the side or do you want it under the window? If we open the door, maybe where the door won't hit it, which is probably where the window starts, where the black of the window starts. Yeah. What do you think? Because y'all can see where he likes to lie down, but we can't put it there because of the door. Right there in the corner. I have to clean there all the time. You get a comfort yeah. bed. Now, if we open the door. Oh, yeah. Okay. What you got going on, mama? 
I'm gonna put this in there like this for right now until we get a waterproof cover. Yeah. So we do have a waterproof cover that mama ordered that is big enough to put over both of these and it's machine washable. But due to the size of the bed, we knew we needed two pillows because it's a really large bed. And ironically, they only had one of the ones that we really Yeah, wanted. we wanted to buy two of those, but there was only one. Um, as y'all saw earlier in the video, we got them both at great deals. Uh, that one came from Ollie's. Normal price was like almost $3.99. And we got it for $29. Yep. And then this one, Mama? Five. I don't even remember where that one came from. It was from um, Rural King. Four. Was it? Oh, yep. Yep. That one was from Rural King. And it was a good deal as well. I think it was like 35 Yeah. Yeah. It was a better deal. It was a better deal. So, yeah. I'm excited to hopefully see him use his bed. And Egypt. You know what I think is going to happen? I think Tucker's going to end up using his bed more. Yeah. <laughs> or they'll share it because they do get along, y'all. They'll end up in his bed together. But I really like this bed. Always have. As y'all can see, big enough for him, which is why we had it built. So, whew, another day in the books. You ready for school tomorrow? Yeah. All right. You ready for Friday? Definitely. What's happening on Friday? We're going to Alabama. Yeah, and what's in Alabama? Petals of the past. Petals of the past or petals from the past? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> petals from the past, y'all, will be in Jemison, Alabama for the YouTuber event that you've heard so many of us speak about. Flyer on the screen right now for that event. So we're going to have a table, y'all. We're going to have things there um for you to purchase and um there's going to be a lot of us there i think it's going to be a great time and yeah. outside of like networking we look forward to seeing any of you that are able to make the trip so we'll see y'all on saturday and just like that y'all his partner in crime is right here and i'm pretty sure once we go in the house tucker's gonna get in there with him but man that pillow's not even sinking that like I thought it would. Yeah. So that's some good memory this foam one's in good there. For Tucker, though, this one yeah. A bit more, look. Yeah. So they're definitely going to be sharing that. Well, thank you for the example, Achilles. He hopped right on in. We we're about to go in the house, y'all. <laughs> oh yeah. Looking good, buddy. Looking high class in that bed. Yeah, it's big enough for you. Nice. Two sides. <laughs> 